Yesterday during my show, you may have heard, depending on where you listen to the Ken Matthews show, you may have heard profanity and vulgarity and conversations that were not meant to be on the air. And I want to apologize for that. I want to try to explain what happened. I mean, I really don't know how everything that was taking place off air during my show yesterday was broadcast. But normally, it, it works like this. I'm, I'm doing the show. You talk, you're talking about something on the show, and then you, you say, we'll be right back, or coming up, or you hear one of those uh, musical things that identify the show. And then the engineer says, clear. That's the time that commercials play. You don't hear me for that several minutes, but it is the time that I have to talk freely and openly to my engineer or whoever. Sometimes it's as mundane as I'm going to get something to eat, I'm going to the bathroom, whatever. Sometimes it's serious. Uh, you could be talking about a movie. You could be frustrated about something, whatever. So when the engineer says clear, I know I'm safe. You're okay to speak freely. Your show's not being broadcast until the next break. Yesterday, one of the things I shared with my engineer, because I presumed I wasn't on the air, were some of Hunter Biden's emails, which they're vulgar and profane and graphic, and I would have never read them on the air. Most of yesterday's entire show, every time I thought I was on a closed microphone, it was being broadcast. This has never happened to me, ever. I've done thousands of shows. I first went on the air when Jimmy Carter was president. Some of you may know I had the honor of filling in for Rush Limbaugh. In fact, about a year ago, I did the final two shows uh, on the EIB network before, before Clay and Buck took over. Anyway, back to yesterday's show. We started getting emails in the middle of the show that said, hey, there might be something wrong with your microphone or whatever. No one noticed anything. I presumed it was taken care of. Maybe it was a technical problem, but it was taken care of. Uh, little did I know that the remainder of the show, every time I thought I was only being heard by my engineer, I was being heard by everyone. I do want to apologize if you heard any of that unintentional mess. And uh, yesterday I was on the air, today I'm not. But I do thank you for listening, and I do hope sometime in the future we'll have an opportunity to talk again.